வணக்கம் தலைப்பு ப்ரொஜெக்ஷன் ஆஃப் சாலிட்ஸ் இல்ல பாக்க போற ஆப்ஜெக்ட் வந்து பெண்டகோனல் பிரிசம் திஸ் இஸ் कॉल्ड அஸ் பெண்டகோனல் பிரிசம் ஹேவிங் 5 எட்ஜஸ் कॉल्ड பேஸ் எட்ஜஸ் திஸ் இஸ் மார்க்ட் அஸ் 1 2 3 4 அஸ் कॉल्ड அஸ் பேஸ் கார்னர்ஸ் அண்ட் தி டாப் கார்னர்ஸ் பாத்தீனா ஏபிசிடி குத்துறோம் அண்ட் இட் ஹஸ் 5 பேஸ் எட்ஜஸ் அல்லது பேஸ் சைட்ஸ் தென் தி பர்టిక్యులர் சாலிட் பேர் பெண்டகோனல் பிரிசம் so pentagon a prism kena prism da varino don't go for uh, pyramid okay so you should know the difference between prism and pyramid the blue color line is called as vertical longer edges the vertical edge is called prism slanting edge is called uh, pyramid okay so you have to be clear with this uh, concept and uh, further what is given in the question go through the question read 1 2 3 4 times go through the question clearly understand the question what is given what is the condition what is the size of the prism is given to go through a pentagonal prism of base side 30 mm okay so this is considered as base side each base side is of 30 mm and the height of the pyramid this is called as vertical height or axis axis length length means it is nothing but axis height 60 mm rest on hp so hp la dhan vechirukom okay Uh, on one of its base corners so five base corners are there having by the solid called the pentagonal prism it is one base corner is touch here on the hp okay next sentence the axis is inclined at 45 degree to hp and parallel to vb draw the projections by change of position method so so far we construct panna ella diagram based on the uh, topic called the change of uh, change of position method okay So Adam, we change the position method. Then we will do it. Tilting the axis, perpendicular to the axis. Adam, we will do it. So if I now give HP the rest of the solid on one of its base corners, okay. So in the object, we will place it. So assume it to be placed like this. Here you have the imagination skill, okay. So imagine, but not worry about it. The solid object, the exam cell, exam hall, could be good. Okay, that you should know. Only by imagination, understanding the concept. and you have to draw the diagram okay that is required for uh, that is required that is imagination skill is required you have to imagine our assumption is made and as per the given condition and the size we going to construct the final uh, front view and final top view total four diagrams are required so simple portion front view top view final portion front view top view understand so if you are going to draw the rest of the hp la so we choose one of the corner called uh, Three. The base corners are given numbers. Okay, three is the rest of the board. So, what we are going to do in the base side called one five. One five to be perpendicular to the x y line, which which you are doing. That forms the simple portion top view. Okay. So, if we find the portion, we will tilt it. Axis is inclined at an angle of forty five degree to the h p. If we find the axis perpendicular to h p, it is ninety degree with the horizontal plane. Final portion, suppose axis is to be inclined at forty five degree to the horizontal plane we tilt it here this is final projections okay this is corresponding front view and top view varai porom at the same time in end part of the prism and the rest of hp la padina the contact on the hp is point called 3 one of the corners five corners we assume point 3 as one of the corner rest on horizontal plane or hp okay abbi we need to form a simple portion front view and top view la varai porom ஒன்னு C की three, D की four, E की five. Okay, you know how to construct this pentagon. First, you draw the x-y line called the reference line. वर्जे पर अगे वो एक two h पेंसिल वो लाइन ड्रॉप करेंगे इंदर लाइन. आज तो one of your base side should come. That is E A. अपो इंदर कार्नर वंदे C point will be the extreme right right आउट रहो. इप्परी लाव क्या कोड़ा दाउट ब्रिक लाव क्या कोड़ा दे. It should not be one of कार्नर रेस्ट आए ना एक जी रेस्ट आए ना. That is one of one one of the base side रेस्ट आए ना अल्लदे கார்னர் ரெஸ்ட் ஆயிரு. இதுல வந்து கார்னர் தான் ரெஸ்டிங் கொடுத்துருக்காங்க. அப்ப நம்ம வந்து டில் பண்றப்ப ஃபைனல் ப்ரொஜெக்ஷன்ஸ் வரையறப்ப டுவார்ட்ஸ் ரைட் சைடுல தான் டில் பண்ணோம். सपोज லெஃப்ட்ல டில் பண்ண நாவும் பாருங்க. கண்டிஷன் மாறிடுது. ஒன் ஆஃப் தி பேஸ் சைடு தான் ரெஸ்ட் ஆயிருக்கு HP ல. பேஸ் சைடு அதுக்கு பேஸ் எட்ஜ். 
பட் கொஸ்டின்ல கொடுத்து வந்து ஒன் ஆஃப் த பேஸ் கார்னர் தான் கொடுத்துருவோம் அப்போ நம்ம டீல் பண்ணப்போ டூ வாட்ஸ் ரைட் சைட்ல தான் டீல் பண்ணோம் இந்த கொஸ்டின்ல அப்படி விட்டுட்டீங்கன்னா இட்ஸ் சிம்பிள் கொஸ்டின் ஸோ எந்த பிளேனில் ரெஸ்ட் ஆகிருக்கோ அந்த பிளேன்ட்டு ஆக்சிஸ் பர்பண்டிகுலராக வச்சு வரைஞ்சிங்கன்னா இமேஜின் பண்ணி வரைஞ்சிங்கன்னா தட் ஃபார்ம்ஸ் சிம்பிள் கொஸ்டின் ஃப்ரண்ட் வியூ அண்ட் டாப் வியூ ஸோ பேஸ்ட் ஆன் ப்ரீவியஸ் வீடியோஸ் யூ கேன் நோ ஹவு டு கன்சிடர் திஸ் பென்டகன் த டோட்டல் ஆங்கிள் சர்க்கிள் இஸ் த்ரீ சிக்ஸ்டி டிகிரி த்ரீ சிக்ஸ்டி டிவைடட் பை பென்டகன் வில் ஆஃப் ஃபைவ் சைஸ் போட்டினா செவன்டி டூ டிகிரி வரும் ஸோ ஈச் சைடு வில் ஆஃப் டபுள் செவன்டி டூ டிகிரி திஸ் ஆங்கிள் இஸ் செவன்டி டூ டிகிரி அதே போல இந்த ஆங்கிள் செவன்டி டூ ஈச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி சைட் வில் பி த சேம் கால்டு செவன்டி டூ டிகிரி யூ கேன் கன்சிடர் திஸ் பென்டகன் ஓகே நெக்ஸ்ட் பை யூசிங் டூ ஹெச் பென்சில் ட்ரா ப்ரொஜெக்ஷன் லைன் ஃபார் ஈச் அண்ட் எவ்ரி பாயிண்ட் So point B will have position and drop it in. It also merges with point called D. Next at point C, 2H pencil line called the projection line or project R. So next by using HP pencil, this forms the base part of the prism. In the point is in giant point, HP pencil line. Merged with the XY line. Because plane was the, the prism is rest on HP. So the base with the rest of HP. Our power point, the base corners, marked as numbers, will be projected on the vertical plane or on the XY line itself. Now, the vertical plane is projected on the XY line. Itself. Called 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash. Understand? And this 1 dash is also called as 5 dash. Merger point with the 1 dash will be 5 dash. Okay? And top corners are given letters. Marked as A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash. A dash can also be called as E dash. This is front view, simple portion front view, top view. So if you want to vary it up, you think that we must use only the drafter scale. Understand? So you can see the 2H pencil portion and drop it up. Now we have to locate the center point of the pentagon. How do you locate it? Now we have to choose the AE. The AE is the base side of the pentagon. One of the base, each base side is of 30 mm. So 30 mm, 15 mm, 15 mm, 1 point locate. This is the point. So join the located point with the opposite corner. In the side of the opposite corner, you can see that. To which pencil and the line drop. You can see the two lines drop. You can see the two lines. Next. Using free hand scale or draft a scale, locate the midpoint of ED. So 25, 30mm, 30mm, 15mm, mm, locate a point, midpoint. And that midpoint is joined with the opposite uh, corner. The point of intersection is marked as O. It's called the center of the pentagon. Okay. So, this is the axis line. Using 2H pencil, draw a projection line from point called O up to the XY line. Next, we are going to mark the axis or the height of the prism as 60 mm. So, in the XY line, the point of intersection from point O, locate a point at a height of, this is going to be the chain line to denote the axis, axis of the prism. So center line drop in here, it's a chain line drawn like this. We do it upon now. Long line gap, short line gap, long line like that. Understand? Then using horizontal scale, you can consider a rectangle like this. This forms the simple portion front view. So in the, in the edge there you go. In the edge, this is outer edge. Outer vertical edge. So in the base corner, sir, numbers go through. So this will be our one dash. One dash can also be called as five dash. Bracket of five dash. Merge the point with the one dash will be five dash. Okay. Uh, next, you do the two dash. Bracket of four dash. The last in the corner on the three dash. I mean, letters. Top corner, sir, given uh, letters. Okay. So a dash. So B dash mark put the from point to two dash draw vertical project or you see HB pencil is one of the longer edge that is uh, B two. 
B dash, C dash, B dash is also called as D dash, E dash is also called as E dash, A dash is also called as E dash, okay. So there are four names, that is A dash, B dash, C dash, D dash, E dash. Similarly, base card is 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash. Okay. So this completes the simple portion of front view and top view. So this is our first diagram, second diagram. So the height of the prism is given as 50, 60 mm. So that will dimension it now itself. So dimensioning carries marks. So don't uh, leave it. So allow correct a kudunga. Enna question na udhurunga allo. Adi kattha pula mark pani dimension pannu. So next one the right side tilt pannu ma, left side tilt pannu ma question oru. So base corner le rest on HP and one of its base corners tha. Ipre rest tilt pannu towards left tilt pannu side rest hai erge. But question enna kudunga one of the base corners na udhurunga. Adala you have to tilt it towards right side. But till pana C is the contact, 3 is the contact point on the horizontal plane. Okay? So, this is the same thing. What is the middle? Tilt pana position towards the right side. If you tilt pana axis is inclined at an angle of 50 45 degree. So, 45 degree tilt axis. When the axis is inclined, the whole object is inclined. This is the corresponding front view or the final front view, final top view. So, this would be our third diagram. This particular diagram, the rectangle box, is tilt. So, axis is perpendicular to the xy line. xy line is perpendicular to the 90 degree. Now, 45 degree tilt the axis. So, look at any point away from these two diagrams. You choose one point. This point is called 3. The 3 is then replaced as 3 suffix 1 dash. Understand? So, next. So before that we will mark the draw the axis of the prism. Then we we'll locate a point three. So locate any point on the xy line. So let this be the point. So draw one 45 degree inclined line. Inclined to HP nale, that angle of inclination will always come above the xy line. XY line is the HP inclined. So based on straight line concept, refer previous videos on projection of straight lines. So in the point there is reference, draw on 45 degree inclined line like this, locate a point, read like this, 0, 10, 20, 45, put a point, join the marked points by free and scale. So this forms the center called the axis line or the center line drawn like this. Understand? So the angle of inclination of the axis is 45 degree. So put uh, on a radial uh, curvature and write this 45 degree. Understand? So if you want to rotate your drafter scale, release the scale of your drafter, keep the longer scale on this inclined line. So line by scale, which is the scale edge, line of points, which is rotate and attain clockwise. But I tie down, the scale will be in this portion. In the corner, scale would a corner. In the corner, we reference of which just to slide the scale like this. In the base point, locate called the three lashing or three other. So, you measure the distance called one dash, three dash. This is scale measure using free and scale or by using the draft scale measure. And the distance in the measure, distance. In the one line drop along called the base part of the prism. Just to slide the scale with the same setting. So at one point of time, the XY line touch and the line drop along called the base of the prism. Better one the prism. So measure putting again I'm measuring. So transfer the distance using the draft scale with the same setup. The same setting, just to slide the scale. So, if you want just the scale edge of axis line of one of which you have to the center line is the axis line. In the line, in the line, three dash to the distance, in the distance measure using the free hand scale or using the draft scale. The distance measure. 
measure பண்ணிட்டு அது என்ன டிஸ்டன்ஸ் இருக்கோ அதே டிஸ்டன்ஸ் தான் இங்க காப்பி பேஸ்ட் பண்ண போறோம் with the same setting just you slide the scale slide பண்ணினா at one point of time x y touch பண்ணிரும் அந்த corner of the scale touch பண்ணி ஒரு லைன் டிரா பண்ண போறோம் that will be will be the base part of the prism okay so in the distance enna irko adhe distance tha inge copy paste pannirukom you can check it using your free hand scale also this is inge varnum so appo in the point tha having contact with the horizontal plane will be i will also have contact with the x y line hp la touch aira point is 3 3 vandu rest a irukke inge horizontal plane la so horizontal plane la enna point locate a irukke 3 that is a touching point on the horizontal plane 3 so the 3 vandu x y la da touch avum again that is a process in the free view la paakra po so this point is replaced as 3 suffix 1 dash understand so next one the இந்த லைன் அப்படியே எக்ஸ்டெண்ட் பண்ணுங்க அந்த अदर சைடு ஆஃப் தி ஆக்சிஸ் வித் தி சேம் செட்டிங் ஆஃப் தி டிராஃப்ட் ஸ்கேல் ஜஸ்ட் எக்ஸ்டெண்ட் பண்ணுங்க எக்ஸ்டெண்ட் பண்ணிட்டு अगेन யூ மெஷர் தி டிஸ்டன்ஸ் फ्रॉम திஸ் ஆக்சிஸ் இந்த ஆக்சிஸ் லைன்ல இருந்து 1 டாஷ் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் மெஷர் பண்ணுங்க யூசிங் தி ஃப்ரீ ஹேண்ட் ஸ்கேல் ஆர் டிராஃப்ட் ஸ்கேல் ஆக்சிஸ் கே ரைட் சைடுல உள்ள டிஸ்டன்ஸ் தான் இது லெஃப்ட் சைடுல உள்ள டிஸ்டன்ஸ் இந்த மெஷர்ட் டிஸ்டன்ஸ் என்ன இருக்கும் அந்த டிஸ்டன்ஸ் அப்படியே இங்க ட்ரான்ஸ்ஃபர் பண்ணுங்க using free hand scale or with the draft scale so remedy length you can erase it this forms the base part of the pentagonal prism base given numbers so in the one dash time you mark this one suffix one dash next in the two mark one two dash so you measure the distance the two dash three dash distance and the distance you copy paste pannuvinga Okay, look at the point. So, with the same setting of a drafter, parallel to the axis, draw a line like this. A line drop on it. After three one dash line, one line drop on it. Inclined line, parallel to the axis, with the same setting of a drafter scale. But now, the height of the prism is given as fifty five mm. In the point, then in the point, then the height is fifty five mm. And then, put a in here, then the axis will fifty five mm locate on it. So there you draw a line using the shorter scale like this. To complete the rectangular box. Yeah, the same setting will be done in the water line. Called the final front view. So this is the draft of the advantage. So parallel move up and down, perpendicular move up, draw lines to draw up and down. So let this point be marked as this point pair. will give us a name call it 2 dash so 2 suffix 1 dash bracket la 4 suffix 1 dash okay and the top corner is in the in the a point the tilt ana pirugi this forms a point called a suffix 1 dash apro in the line of extension this is one of the longer edge is it top surface is the base part of the prism in the point very b b bd B suffix one dash bracket like D suffix one dash. Is this C suffix one dash? Understand? So total of five points. Look up for me. Top surface like A, B, C, D, E. I mean base corners one, two, three, four, five one dash. Okay, we will find another one. Then uh, now I am going to draw the final top view. This will be our third diagram. Final top view already. You take your 2H pencil. Again, reset your draft scale. But tilt it again. Reset. But now release the nut of your draft scale. Rotate the nut in anti-clockwise. Anti-clockwise. Then uh, keep the longer scale of your drafter over the line called X Y line. Which is correct. First, we will complete the A B C D corners. Okay. So, but tilt it again. Top view already. Now, my name is Patel. Now, the name is. Looking from the top top surface, man, what the A B C D first is there. A B C D, all corners are there. Understand? So first we will complete the A B C D part. A B C D full of motion, all corners are there. That's why 
we join it by a continuous line called uh, object line appo piragi base part given numbers idra vandu sila edge theriyum theriyadu so that we will find out later so from a suffix 1 dash draw vertical projector using the shorter scale so next in the horizontal uh, projection line where is point a is at here top view previous view previous top view the horizontal projector the point of intersection is marked as a suffix 1 उस Next is a C point. Next is our D point. Next is our E point. उन This is called as edges. All the sides are solved. Next, base corners are given letters. Sorry, numbers. Using two H pencil, draw horizontal projector from point one. Then from one dash, the point of intersection of one dash and one is called as one sub is one. So repeat the process for all other numbers. Next point is two. Draw a little bullet up. Next point three. Next to four, two one dash is also called as four one dash. Next to five one dash. So give the numbers two suffix one, three suffix one, four suffix one, five suffix one. So join all the points, mark the points using your HP pencil and your free hand scale. Go in sequence. So first one two will join. So this is from points in the left side, la padina. So join one five. अपने विकेट विल शेल जॉइन फोर एंड फाइव इधर मेल अ पॉइंट्स ही लगा रहे हैं अरे कंट्रीज लाइन लगा रहा पड़ना कॉल्ड ऑब्जेक्ट लाइन यूजिंग एचपी पेंसिल फॉर्म्स वन वन ऑफ़ द एज आर द बाउंड्री नेक्स्ट इधर बी ए बी सी डी ला टॉप सरफेस इधर मुर्चे पर रखे पर नंबर नाउ वी आर मार्किंग अबाउट � 
A தெரியும் B தெரியும் C தெரியும் and uh, 3 number வந்து தெரியாது understand so it's lying at the base so that will be hidden so that will be hidden and that will be connected edge just 2, 3, 3, 4 that will be dash line leather drop on no? cannot be visible man of power theory but it is available on the base side on the year cannot be seen from the top surface that will be dash line and drop on no? called uh, hidden edge or hidden side 3, 4 joined by dashed line it is available, but it is not visible to the observer looking from the top surface. Understand? So, the base is connected. The base is connected. The base and the top surface. The two are connected by means of longer edges. It is shown blue in color. But it is inclined at the front view. But top view is this 1A, 2B. It is joined. It forms the boundary. So, first longer edge is 1A. A corresponding is 1A. Join A1, 1, 1. Use the drafter scale or by free end scale. It is easy to use the drafter scale itself. Join a 1A, 2B. So 2B killer points in So you can draw, draw it by continuous line like this. Joining 2 suffix 1 and uh, B suffix 1. By HP pencil called object line. Next B Gabro C. C C three is the base corner resting on HP. Okay. So that is related to the connection line the like hidden line the coming on. That is a dashed line. So three C shall be joined by dashed line like this. Using HP pencil, but it's a discontinuous line. Dashed line. Okay. Because man and power both three C three are because in the top surface margin is not the same as the margin is not the same as the 3C3 that is shown by dashed line like this. Understand? So, resting corner is related lines. That is the same as the lines are dashed line. Next, 3 is 4. 4D shall be joined by continuous line like this using HP pencil object line. This is the matter of points. So, this forms one of the boundary in the top view. Next, 5E. What about 5E? The 5 theory, man and power of 5 theory, or E theory, shall be joined by continuous line. That is one of the longer edges seen in the top view. Next, longer edge, and the 5 longer edges are marked. Next, what about the base corners? So, this completes the answer called our fifth diagram. Sorry, fourth diagram called the final top view. So, next dimension is 55 mm. This base side is given as uh, 30 mm, needs to be dimensioned. Put an arrow, arrow it's right at 30 like this. So, one base side mark on the and that represents is a regular pentagon. And as usual, we will write all dimensions are in mm, right side lower portion of your diagram. Nandri Valtukal.